Whoa, how's the lighting? Hey guys, I'm not sure what the lighting doesn't look the best here, but I think it's okay. At least it's not orange. Okay, I was just wanting to make something and I thought I'd kind of talk through it and also kind of talk to you about how I do my salads every day. Now, I know I always preach and stuff about really prepping. Well, sometimes, I'm gonna show you how sometimes I prep my salads, which isn't, it just makes it so much easier, right? Now, what I've got going here is, everybody's probably having dinner. No, it's seven, I don't know what, anyways. Um, I'm eating late. Is I have sauteed some garlic and onions. So that's in this pan in a bit of oil. And last night, one of the things I did, because I had a whole bunch of organic broccoli, I blanched some broccoli. Now, this is not the broccolini. This is the regular broccoli. And I'd eaten it too much raw. It gets me really gassy. So I blanched it just in boiling water, right? Took it out, ran it under cool water. So that is what I have in the fridge here. I had some last night. I have some here. I put some in my salad today. So having blanched broccoli in the fridge, you can add it to so many things. And I am making soup, uh, yam noodles. Hey, Tammy, so I'm making some yam noodles. I have some blanched broccoli already that I did last night. Yes, I don't know, eight o'clock or so. And I am also gar have some garlic and onions in here that I'm sauteing because I'm gonna make super simple and easy and I'm gonna talk to you about how I prep my salads sometimes too. So this is my veggetti and I'm just uh, making my noodles here. Because, I mean, I love yams and broccoli together. Same with yams and greens, sauteed greens. If you haven't tried that together with yams, really good. <clears throat> and so I wanted to make myself some yams and broccoli because I have broccoli made in the fridge already. It's super fast and easy, right? Okay, so there's my noodles. Woohoo! And then I'm going to make a tahini sauce with it and show you how I prep my salads. Um... <clears throat> All right, so we got my zucchini needles here, noodles, garlic, onions in here. I'm sure you could add some, i um, just gonna break them up a bit. So I'm just gonna add my, my yam noodles to my pan that already has the garlic and onions in it. And then I'm gonna add water, of course, because they need to cook a bit, right? Bit of water, then I'm gonna make my tahini sauce. And I also have a salad. I'm gonna have some on my salad. Kinda, I wanted to kinda eat all raw tonight, but I just really wanted to make these zucchini noodles. I haven't tried sauteing them like this, so I thought it'd be really cool to try. This is my baguette, if you don't have one. It works quite good. I had a spiralizer, it's just something different, right? So I'll show you my, there they are in the pan there. So I'm adding a bit of water. I don't want to add too much because I don't want them to boil. I just want them to saute. There's already a bit of oil in there. I want them to just saute. That means lightly cook and steam. So I add the lid, right? Put the lid on it so that they'll cook a little. And like I said, my broccoli's already blanched, so it's already been, I could just eat it like this. I had it my salad today. All right, tahini sauce. Now, why I chose tahini sauce fast and easy, that's why. And... So I use this, I have this uh, organic tahini. I'm gonna use a glass. Now, tahini is sesame seed butter. It's really high in calcium. Sesame seeds are extremely high in calcium. Plus, of course, so it's a good fat. Now, really easy ingredients. Tahini, lemon juice, water, salt. But I'm also adding some paprika and curry powder to it. I need a spoon. So I'm adding some tahini, I mean some curry powder and paprika to it to flavor it a bit, right? So I'm just going to scoop. This is right near the end of my jar, so it's really thick tahini. So if you're watching me and you're going to make it and your tahini is more runny because it's, it's new, then you don't need to add as much water probably, right? So I have the tahini here. I don't know. I bet there's two tablespoons, maybe a little more. And then I'm just going to add in some, I should measure just a minute. I'm gonna add in some uh, lemon juice. I got a tablespoon here. Really, you balance it with flavor. That's what you gotta do. The, just water and lemon juice, right? So lemon juice, when you start to stir, it's gonna get really super thick. 
You can mix it in a jar too and shake it. I guess I could have done that. So I got my lemon juice in there. Now I'm just going to add a bit of salt. It needs salt. <laughs> salt. And then I'm going to add, start adding my water. Here it is right here. So I just add a bit of water. Not too much at first because then it's too hard to stir. The water flies everywhere, right? So I'm just going to add some water, stir it. Because you won't see whatever consistency you wanted it. This is great for salad dressings and falafels. If you ever make anything like, um, you know, I've made yam fries. Like you just cut up yams, you know, and you bake them. This sauce is really good on yam fries. So really, really good. It's good with carrots too, this tahini sauce. So I'm just stirring it. Here's how thick it is right now. Very thick, right? But I still want to have the, the lemon flavor in it. So I'm just going to taste that. Because if I water it down with too much water, non-lemon, then it doesn't have flavor, right? So I just added a little, little bit at a time. That's what I do. I add a little bit at a time. If you add too much, you can't take it out. So now some water. And you know, too much water is fine. You can always add a little more tahini. That's no big deal. All right. This looks like a pretty good consistency. I'll show you because I know it. Yeah. My noodles. You always got to check this because... <laughs> You don't want the water to completely dry out, otherwise the noodles will be stuck to the bottom and all of that good stuff. So it's getting very soft now. So I'm just turning down the heat a bit, adding a little more water because it's kind of dry. And when these noodles, I'm going to taste them a little bit. Mm. Done any time, you know they're just slightly tender. So I can add the broccoli any time here and the spices. So I got, here's what it's like right now. That's my tahini sauce. Now all I have to do is add the flavoring, right? A little bit of paprika, a little bit of curry powder. If you don't like those, don't add them. <laughs> my, I love paprika. So I'm going to do, this is a table teaspoon. So I'm going to do half a teaspoon of paprika. Might be a little bit too much. Probably a quarter teaspoon of curry powder. I would say this is a mild curry powder. I purposely bought mild because bought hot last time and that was no good. Okay, let me taste this now. Mm. That's quite good. You can't really taste it. I'm going to add a little more. This is really mild curry powder. So I'm adding another probably half teaspoon actually. And then more salt. More salt and pepper. And then we're good. Super fast. How's this? I can multitask really well. Broccoli going in the mix. Right? I'll put it all in. What the heck? A little bit of water. And I'm going to get my coconut oil because it needs a little bit of that in there. Smooth it all out. Even though I'm adding my, my tahini sauce. I eat salads during the day. And I'm going to talk about my salad for lunch. So I eat pretty light. This is, um, my boyfriend will probably have some of this. Okay, so I'm just going to add a bit of um, salt to this. I'm going to add nutritional yeast. I put it on everything. High in vitamin Bs. You don't want to put it on when you're going to cook it. So basically when it's kind of done and heated up, then you're going to add it because you don't want to uh, decrease the um, vitamins in it, which are vitamin Bs. Yeah, sauce is pretty good. A little more lemon juice. This is a very mild sauce. So this is it right here. That's the tahini sauce. Excellent. Now my coconut oil. So doing something like this, you guys, doesn't have to take long. And I'd say probably every night, maybe, possibly, I do a little bit. Like I said, I, did, I blanched the broccoli last night. Didn't take long. Cut it up, throw it in a pan of boiling water, blah, blah, blah. Rinse it. Doesn't take long at all, right? Super easy. You do a little bit sometimes each night. Even, and last night I wilted some kale. So what I did, I'll tell you about my salad here. I wilted some kale, which means you chop, you wash kale, you chop it up. Pictures are on Women Creating Healthy Lives. You add a bit of oil and a tiny bit of salt. Tiny bit of oil. I am talking like a half a teaspoon. And um, 
and then you massage it and the kale gets nice and soft and then it's great for salads. And it can store like that in the fridge for a while, actually. So the noodles have disappeared. I thought that they would stay, but they, they kind of, they didn't stay as noodles, really. That's what it looks like there. I thought the zucchini noodles would stay. They got soft and they broke apart. I'd never done this before, right? So, I don't know, let them learn. <clears throat> now I'm adding nutritional yeast. It's kind of like a little bit of a cheesy flavor, salty, cheesy flavor a bit. I added some coconut oil and I'm just mixing this together. Got the broccoli in there, garlic and onions sauteed earlier. Okay, and I'm going to talk about how I do my salads in a second here because I want to show you what I made. Hello, whoever's on. Two guys. Hi. I uh, don't have my glasses on, so it's hard for me to see. Going to get a bowl. Okay, a bowl. This is about the size I start with. I know you're thinking, oh my God, that's not much food, right? I just start with a smaller portion. If I want more, I can have more. That's the secret. Small, nice bowls makes a big difference. I love pottery bowls. So that's what I love. Now I might flavor this a little more, but tonight I'm just doing it very simple. So there it is in the bowl. And then I'm just going to add some of the sauce on it. So this is my tahini sauce with paprika and curry. <clears throat> Sorry, curry powder, lemon, water, salt. You could add a bit of garlic powder in it too if you wanted. That would probably be really good. Okay, there it is in the bowl. Now I'm going to try it, a taste test. Taste, it smells really good actually. And I don't have cinnamon. I could have added a little bit of cinnamon, but I'm completely out. So let's see what this tastes like. Mm. Mm-hmm. It's really good. Really, really, really good. Huh. And what a simple, fast way to make yams. Because, you know, yams can take a while to cook because they're a root vegetable. But when you spiralize them like that, you could try it with potatoes, too. They cook so fast. So I made this really super fast, you guys. So what a great idea. Oh. It's really good. Oh my god. Mm. This sauce can be um would be a really good one for a kale salad. So I'm gonna show you my kale. Well, kind of. So oh my battery's low. On my Facebook page, Women Creating Healthy Lives, which I hope you're all a part of. Um, I post pictures all the time of what I do. And I was showing my salad. So here's what I have left over. I just took a bit of it and had some today at lunch. I have wilted kale in there. So I kind of make pockets. I have my salad mix. I usually make a base salad mix of cabbage, carrots. I have actually jicama in there, green onions, sometimes green peas, celery, things that stay in the fridge for a while. So I have a little batch of that. Then I have sprouts. We make our own sprouts. So I have a little batch of sprouts here. Then I cut up some tomatoes, grape tomatoes. I put them in this morning, a little batch of grape tomatoes. I did my wilted kale last night. I have my wilted kale stuffed, stuffed in here. I um, blanched the broccoli last night, so I added some blanched broccoli to my salad today. And then I had bought these great olives, so I added that to my salad this morning. And I have parsley in here too, lots of parsley. So I bring these like mix a salad, but each day I can add things to them, right? So tomorrow I might want to add some green peas. I just take green peas, heat them in warm water and they're done. You don't have to cook them. I might also add some organic canned chickpeas in my salad tomorrow or black beans, right? So basically I just kind of add, I have this little salad thing. So then I never use it all in one day. Well, I might eat it for the whole, not at lunch anyway. So for lunch, I'll have some of this with usually something else, right? And then I, uh, when I get home at night, I kind of chop it up. And then I put it in the fridge and it's ready for me tomorrow. And it only takes a few minutes to top it up, right? 
You just chop up a few things, add it to your salad bowl, put it in the fridge, and it's done for tomorrow. And I added soaked walnuts in here, pumpkin seeds. Walnuts are really high in omega-3s, which is great for brain function. It's great for depression, right? Our moods. Uh, and we need our omega-3s, you know, skin too. Um, so when you soak them, you release the enzyme inhibitors from the walnuts. It also takes away the bitterness. So I soak them for about four to six hours. Now you could do that during the day. You could do that as soon as you like get home at night and then rinse them right before you go to bed. And I'll show you what I put them in. My little strainer. I just dumped the walnuts that have been soaking in here, let them drain, rinse them with cold water, water, and then I keep them in the fridge, just like that in a bowl, so they can drain. So the walnuts kind of dry out a little bit. They become almost kind of soft, kind of meaty texture, really good flavor, excellent to add to any type of a stir fry, they would have been good in this. Any type of a stir fry, any type of salad, and makes them more filling, so it makes your salad more filling. Plus, you're getting the good oils. You're getting something with, it just gives it a bit of texture and different flavor, right? So that's kind of what I do with my salads every day. I don't make a big production of it sometimes. Sometimes I just add a little bit to it. Like I said, this is pretty full, so I may not have to add much to my salad. I have a lot for tomorrow, right? That's all. I just add a little bit. Whatever I don't eat, I kind of add to it, right? Don't put dressing on it. Keep your dressing on the side always. Who else has joined us? Hey, Sherry. Oh, you guys, I made such a amazing, here it is, a picture. Um, zucchini noodle, I mean, yam noodles that just broke up into a million pieces. And broccoli with a great um, curry tahini sauce. Watch the video once it's done and you'll get how I did it and the recipe for the tahini sauce too. So fast and easy. I used my spaghetti. Where is it? This thing, my baguette, and did the zucchini noodles. They didn't stay as noodles, though. They broke up into a million pieces. <laughs> but they cooked super, super fast, right? So you are getting something done extremely fast. I did this. And I had blanched my broccoli last night. So I seriously made this so fast. If you watch the video, you'll see how fast I made this. Who else is on? Oh, I wish I could see. Hey, Andrea. Andrea, sorry. I just showed how I made a fabulous dinner, really quick and easy, and I talked about how I prep my salads every single, so I have a good salad to take to work every single day. Oh, I'm gonna have to pop off because I finished everything. <laughs> finished all my thing. But I'm gonna eat my, my supper now, which is my yam noodles and my broccoli and tahini sauce. Um, yeah, I try to include tahini more because it is, like I said, it's really high in calcium. And it just has this really good rich flavor and you can flavor it any way you want. So this today I flavored it with uh, curry powder and paprika and, it, and salt, salt, put salt and pepper in it too. All right guys, and nutritional yeast I added to my broccoli and my yams as well as the tahini sauce and salt and pepper, really, really good. All right, I'm signing off because I did the video. So go back and watch the video and see how fast and easy my dinner was tonight. Doesn't have to take hours in the kitchen to eat something healthy. And if you're not part of my Facebook community already, Women Creating Healthy Lives, go there now and be a part of it because I will post pictures. I always post the recipes there. I usually always post how to, like I'll write it out how I did this and post the whole thing on there. Great. And if you have any questions or comments, post them below the video. And also if you have suggestions for another video you want to learn, something else, maybe, maybe another recipe or a topic about uh, health, living healthy and happy over 40. I love your suggestions. Great. Thank you guys for watching. Okay. Bye-bye.